There's some tobacco on the counter. Smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? As well, safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. No, it isn't. You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry we had to clear out part of the forest to do it because spirits live in the forest. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither, but there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Daryl. What do you mean a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Hell, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scroffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's gonna be employed forever! Stuff always needs fixing! I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to Glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Hi there, I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. So, what's your name? 
Steve? Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Another puzzle solved. How are you doing, Steve? Out of curiosity, anything else you want to tell me about these birds? They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese danish. Wow.
Well, that wasn't so hard. How are you doing, Steve? See you, Steve. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moose Ear Diner. I'll be right with you. Can I help you with that? You go delicious thanks so uh what's good here i don't know it's all fine oh okay what's your name glory davner oh haha <laughs> so i'm nelson are you feeling okay yes no i'm just thinking about my husband what's wrong with your husband ma'am is he okay he will be well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. An accident at the Eraser Factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner, he was your husband? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? Oh no. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but... I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help.
That wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. Hello, Sheriff. Agent Tethers, good. You're here. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you... No time. I got a hunch about the factory. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. What? Why would you do that? You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. should clear things up. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Looks like the last one out was Mike Lobb. You think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Svens? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. No, wait, do what to a what? Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance... Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Woods, then walk the trail out to the ice fishing huts. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd wolverine in them. What? But they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. I better get back to it. You betcha. snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sesame Woods. That doesn't sound dangerous at all.
Hello? Ugh. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man, late 30s. Looks like he froze to death, trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna have a look. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I I didn't mean. Ah! <laughs> they tried to, 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 to take him. The lock must not. The lock on the factory door. Key. What is this thing? I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. I'm going to hold on to it for later. The lake with the ice fishing huts is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Ugh. 